Hi everyone. Welcome to another Colorado Fun Facts. This month I want to talk about my favorite uh, venue in Colorado and yes you guessed it Red Rocks Amphitheater. So Red Rocks is a naturally occurring amphitheater that was formed by the erosion of red sand, sandstone rocks. Um, due to the unique geological formations the acoustics are phenomenal. It's located at an altitude of about 6450 feet. Red Rocks is one of the highest concert venues in the world. The area around Red Rocks has a rich history. The Ute tribe considered it a sacred site and it was popular uh, gathering place for early settlers. The venue itself was constructed by the Civilian Conservation Corps during the Great Depression. On June 15, 1947, the first official concert took place at, Con at Red Rocks, and it was a performance by our own Denver Symphony Orchestra. Wow. <laughs> um, the Beatles played their only concert in Colorado at Red Rocks on August 25, 1964. However, due to poor weather conditions, the concert was cut short, which is the only concert that the Beatles ever uh, did not finish. Maybe that's why they never came back. <laughs> um, Red Rocks has been featured in several films. One was The Trial of Billy Jack and also the iconic concert that you might remember, uh, U2's video of Under the Blood Red Sky. So beyond concerts, Red, Wa Red Rocks is a popular spot for fitness enthusiasts. Many, many people use the amphitheater steps for workouts, often referred to as the rock workout. Red Rocks Amphitheater also hosts a popular summer film series where classic films are screened under the stars. And Red Rocks has gained international acclaim. It's Due to its beauty and outstanding acoustics, many artists have put this on their bucket list as venues to play in the future. So there you had it. I'm sure you've been, if you're in Colorado, I'm sure you've been there, but now you'll have a little more information the next time you go. Take care.